Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a look on this look that I'm wearing right here, which is basically the look that I had on in my last video. You guys wanted to see a video on this look and I wanted to wear my makeup like this again today, so I was like, let me just film it for you guys. Um, in the actual video though, when I had on this like glowy looking look, uh, I had on a lot more natural looking lash. The actual lashes that I was wearing in the last video that I did, those were the Ardell Soft touch lashes. I believe the number was 151. I do really like those with this look because it goes with the whole natural looking esque version of this makeup. And yes, I consider this like a natural makeup look. I know some people will be like, oh my god, that's not natural, but it is a natural makeup look to me. So um, it's just really glowy and easy on the eyes, just a lot of lash. I don't have any lipstick on, just a gloss on top of it. So it is pretty easy. I can get it done really fast. I also feel like this is a great makeup look for when you're kind of just getting over your cold and you still kind of look sickly, you know what I mean? Like your circles under your eyes are a little darker and your skin isn't as glowing as it usually is. So this is kind of great to disguise your sickness. And then one more thing before we jump into the video, I have made my Snapchat public for you guys. My username is hi.nick, only because Nicole Guerrero was taken, so thanks to whoever took Nicole Guerrero. I mean, unless your name is Nicole Guerrero, then it's totally okay. I'm still trying to get the hang of Snapchat, but I will get it so I think that's it this is a super long intro so if you guys want to see how to get this fresh glowy face then just keep watching okay so we're gonna start with a clean fresh face and the first thing I'm going to do is pin all this hair out of the way what are you looking at Nicole get your hair out of your face <laughs> then spray my face with a little bit of fix plus because I want to have a dewy appearance for primer I'm gonna use the cover FX anti-aging primer I just gashed myself with it and it hurt throughout the whole video. <laughs> but the reason I'm using this primer is because I'm going to be using a new foundation and I feel like this primer works better with the foundation I'm about to use, which before I do that I'm going to put a little bit of my mask on my lips because we're not going to be wearing any lipstick so I just want to make sure they're nice and hydrated. For foundation, I'm going to use the MAC Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation in the color NC35, and I have been obsessed with this foundation, but I only like it when I apply it with my fingers. When I first got it, I tried to apply it with a brush and a beauty blender, and I just didn't like how it sat on the skin, so I tried applying it with my fingers, and I ended up loving it. So I'm just going to work this all over the face. It gives a really nice coverage, and it lasts all day long on me, even with my oily skin. I found this palette in my vanity when I was cleaning it out the other day and it's from Mark, so I think that's like Avon. It's called the I Dream of Glam palette and it has just these really nice shimmery, mineralized eyeshadows. So I thought it would go good with this look, but originally with my look that I did uh, in the last video, I just used this Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder in the color Gold Digger and popped that all over my eyes. So I wanted that intenseness, so I just put that right over the shadow and I just put it on the lid. Didn't take it up to the crease or anything like that. So then I'm gonna throw on some mascara and prep these lashes for our falsies. For this look, I'm using the Bambi Lashes from House of Lashes, but I do have to curl these kind of a lot before I put them on so that they're not just like sticking straight out. But other than having to curl them, these are another one of my favorite style of lashes. And had to fix the brows, they were looking a little gappy. lashes on and we're moving on to concealer I'm gonna use the Maybelline fit me concealer just because I like how it looks when you're going for like a little more of a natural look I do apply a lot because I also use it to highlight and I just like to conceal this way I feel like it hides your dark circles a lot better um, and most of this product blends out anyway this concealer is actually super easy to blend out and I just use kind of a little stippling brush like this this one is from motifs but Mac has one and real techniques has one as well and it just makes it so easy to blend out your concealer. To 
set, I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder, and I'm just going to use it with the same brush that I used to tap it out. And this is really the only place we're going to set today because I want to have a lot of dewiness to the skin. So I'm really going to only set my under eye concealer, and then I'm not going to set the rest of my face. For bronzer, we're going to use this one from The Balm. It has a lot of shimmer in it, which just goes with our look. And I'm going to contour my cheeks, my temples, a little on the chin, the jawbone, and a little on the forehead, but just a little. Then I'm going to blend it all out with a stippling brush because I don't want any harsh lines. I just want a little bit of bronziness to the face. For blush, I'm going to use Warm Soul from MAC. This is a mineralized blush, so again, it's just going with the shimmeriness of this look. It's not really shimmery, it just has a lot of sheen to it, so a lot of shine, a lot of glow, and I just think it's perfect for this. Again, stippling it out so we don't have any harsh lines, and now to my favorite part, the highlighter. We are going to be layering some, so don't be nervous. <laughs> the first one we're going to use is from Makeup Forever, and this is the Compact Shine On, and I'm just using a fan brush from Artist Couture and I'm going to do my cheekbones above my brows, the tip of my nose, on my chin, and down the nose a little, and then my cupid's bow. If you wanted to just skip the bronzer, you could consider this strobing. It's just intensely highlighting your face. For even more highlight, I'm going to load on some gold digger, the same shadow that we used on our eye. It is pigmented. I mean, it is loose, so just be careful. And I'm just going to hit all the same places over again. using the stippling brush to knock off any excess product. Do you guys ever accidentally zoom in? <laughs> oh yes, strobe, strobe, bling, 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 bling. Now I'm just going to throw on a couple more coats of mascara to my top lashes and the bottom lashes, and then all we have left to do is our lip. Yeah, girl. Oh, and set the brows. I use a tinted brow gel to just kind of tone down the darkness. For lip, I'm gonna use this one from Dior. I've had this color forever and ever, ever. It's just number 13, and I've never used it. I found it in my drawer and I thought it would go perfect. So just throw this on. If you wanna put on a lip set, go ahead, but I chose not to, just to keep it nice and easy. Too much? It's okay, fix it. <laughs> so after that, this look is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed. I don't think I have anything else to tell you guys, except... <laughs> I love you guys, and until next time, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.